Okay, so we have a lot to get through in terms of highlighters, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Um, I have a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I have a lot. So yeah, I definitely wanna thin my collection down a little bit, um, but I don't feel any need to do anything dramatic in terms of my D stash. I want to continue to keep what works for me and you know, the ones that might be a little bit too dark or I just don't reach for, those are the ones that are going to need a new home. So yeah, we're gonna get right into this. Okay, so we are going to just get into the declutter. Um, this doesn't look like a lot because this is not all. <laughs> there is quite a bit more. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Okay, so right off the bat, I have a few from Becca. This is Rose Quartz. And, you know, I haven't been using this one a lot lately. And actually, the last time I went to use it, it didn't really apply super well. So it might be getting old or I might just have fallen out of love with it. But we're going to go ahead and de-stash this one. Next, I have a couple baby ones from Becca. So I have Opal, which looks like that. And then I have Champagne Pop, which is classic. And, you know, let's see. Do I need Champagne Pop? Ah, oh, it still looks good. Okay, we're gonna keep both of the mini ones. Okay, we have one from Buxom. This is White Russian. I love this one. I feel like it was super popular when it first came out and then no one talked about it, but I use this one quite a bit. It's a little more subtle, which, you know, I enjoy in every single day use, you know, not when I'm going out and having a fancy dinner, but um, definitely for everyday use. Oh, so cute, if I didn't mention that. <laughs> we have one from Dose of Colors. This is the Supreme Glow Highlighter in Dream On. And it looks like this, and it's this beautiful pinky color, and I have never used it, so we're gonna distash this one. Uh, we have an OG one from Bite. This is Blush Pearl. Yeah, Blush Pearl. And it looks like this. And it's really pretty. Yeah, it's super pretty. No, can you see that? Okay, we're going to keep it. We're going to see if we get some more use out of it. I don't think I've barely used it, but that was really pretty. So we'll hold on to this one. Next, I have a few from Too Faced. So this is Diamond Fire. I love this one. This is such a great highlighter. It's gorgeous. So we're going to keep this one on the other hand. It's still in its box. <laughs> um, this one's a little dark. So this is Canary Diamond. And let's see. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you're seeing that, but it doesn't really appear too dark on my skin. It's a bronzy pink, which is really pretty, but I think it is just a little bit too dark for me. So we're gonna get rid of this guy. Uh, we got a tiny little baby guy from Kaja. This is Toy Alien. This one's super cute. I do use this one quite a bit, so we're gonna keep it. Uh, should I get into my Oprah's now or later? Maybe later. Uh, we have this one from LYS, and this is in Aim High, and I think this one is actually a little too dark for me. Yeah, that's way too dark, so we're going to get rid of this one. I thought I got that in the lightest shade. I wonder if I did. Uh, okay, we have one from MAC, and this is the Superb Extra Dimension Skin Finish, and I think this one is also a little dark. I do like this one. So it's this one at the end. You know, I like very rarely get rid of any of my MAC stuff, so I'm going to hold on to this one. I'm not ready to say goodbye. This one is a whole nother story, though. So this is the MAC Into Eternity Electric Wonder Iridescent Powder. So it's kind of like a finishing powder, and it's gorgeous, but it does nothing for me. It's like gorgeous packaging. I was so stoked to get my hands on it, and... It like doesn't really do anything. So we're gonna just stash this one. We have a couple more from MAC. This is from one of their Christmas collections. So we have Step Bright Up, Alchemy, the Hyper Real Glow Duo, and then Fortune Teller, Blizzard Wizard. Oof, these names. So this one is Step Right Up. It's gorgeous. 
And this one is a fortune teller. And fortune teller is kind of more of a blush, um, but I don't use it. So, uh, it's so pretty though. I was really excited to get this one. Okay, let's, let's do a little bit of a swatch. It's dark. Okay, we're gonna de-stash this one. We're gonna keep the Step Right Up one because this one definitely works on my skin a lot better. Okay, we're doing better than I thought we were gonna do so far. Um, okay, we have a couple from Be Perfect. This is the Get Wet Hollow Glaze. It looks like this. This one's fairly new in my collection. We're gonna keep it. And then we have Polar Vortex Snow Angel. We're gonna keep that one as well. Uh, we have Luminescence from Stila. This one's really pretty, but oh, so soft. Wow, it's actually super pretty. You know, I just, I don't reach for it anymore. It's really good, it still works great, but I think we're gonna de-stash this one. I'm trying to be a little bit uh, ruthless. I don't love liquid highlighter, so we're gonna get rid of this mini dewdrops from Marc Jacobs. It's cute, it's a great like little travel size guy, but I don't use it. I don't really love the Marc Jacobs highlighter formula, the liquid one, so we're gonna get rid of that one. We've got one from Soul Body, so that's uh, ColourPop's little brand, and this is the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and it looks like this. It's super cute. I don't think I've used this one yet. Jingle, jingle, jingle. We're gonna hold on to it, you know? It, it might come in handy one day. We'll see. We're gonna hold on to it, though. We have one from Jaclyn Cosmetics, and this is in Star Power, and this one is just too dark for me. It's really, really pretty. It would look great on someone else. It just does not look good on me. So we're gonna get rid of this one. We've got another one from MAC. This is the Floor Shore Extreme Dimension Skin Finish. I do love their skin finish a lot, and this one is no exception. This one's great, so we're keeping it. We have a Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in Peach Gasm. So this is kind of like a blush highlighter combo. I use it for both. And it's really good. So we're going to keep it. We have this one from K Voss in Moonlight. And, or Fairy Dust. Fairy Dust Moonlight. And it's really pretty. It's super pretty. Looks like I've used it maybe once. But, you know, I don't reach for it. So we're going to get rid of it. Okay, let's look at my Ofra ones. So this is the Nikki Tutorials Highlighting Trio. I don't use it a lot, but I do like having it in my collection, so we're going to hold on to this one. And then I have the Mother Earth Highlighter, which is the one that has the green tint to it. It's probably not picking up super well on camera. Can you see it in the mirror? No, not really. Um, but it does shift green, um, and I do kind of love that, so I'm keeping this one. Hmm, let's see. We have Star Island. Looks like this. And then we have Rodeo Drive which looks like this. Super pretty. We'll hold on to both of them. Uh, we have this one from Give Me Glow, and this is Welcome to My Dollhouse. Uh, it's a highlighter. It's a very pink highlighter. Or if I can open it. Or, okay. It's very, very sparkly. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah, so we're going to keep that. <laughs> obviously. Uh, we have this one from Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter in Lunar Nude. Obviously, it's not going anywhere. Um, we have this one from About Face. I got this in an Ipsy and I haven't used it. The packaging is super cool. Look at that. That's intense. And the color, it's quite a bit of packaging. Look at that color. Super pretty, but I haven't used it. Uh, it's been in its box the whole time. And again, I don't really tend to reach for liquid highlighters very often. So I'm going to give this to a good home. Actually, I'll probably list this on my Macari. So if you're interested, check it out there. We have this one from Catrice. This is the Sungasm. Um, I've had this one for a while and I'm like, oh, it's beautiful. Like I'm going to use it all the time and I never use it. It's pretty. It's a very like subtle shine. 
if you can see that. Um, but you know, it's just, I don't reach for it. So I'm gonna say goodbye to it. We've got one from Hourglass and this is in rose gold flash. And this one looks like it would be too dark, but it's not. It's actually, actually no, it looks pretty light on camera. It looks a little darker in person. It's pretty light on my skin and it's pretty good. So we are gonna hold on to this. Okay, so I know I just talked a bunch of crap about <laughs> liquid highlighters, but I actually do like the one from Rare Beauty. So this is in the color Enchant, and it's a gorgeous color, and I just feel like it goes on the skin really well, so I'm gonna hold on to it. Uh, we have this little guy from Milk Makeup. This is in the color Lit. Uh, it's another one that I like have every intention of using, and then I never do. It's very subtle. Okay, I like just rubbed it off. And I do like cream stuff, but I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this guy. We have this one from Nabla, and this is in Privilege. Really gorgeous, we are holding on to this one. <laughs> Told you we were not done. So my Kaleidos ones, let's see. Let me get them all out. Okay, so we have, for my Kaleidos, we have the Space Age Prophecy, which is this, like, very crazy duochrome, multi-chrome, like, gorgeous, like, shift. It's, it's amazing. I don't wear it a whole lot because, you know, you really need to be in the moment to wear this, but I'm definitely keeping it. Like, look at that. Uh, we have two moon cruisers. We have one is the old formula and one is the new formula. Uh, and I don't know which is which. <laughs> um, which is the new, which is the old. I think this is the old. And this is the new. I'm going to have to check online. So I don't want to throw away the old. It's probably going to match this style. This is one of the newer ones though. So it's probably going to look like this. So I think this is the new one. So we're going to de-stash the old one. We also have from Kaleidos Mars Melter, which has a little bit of a red shift to it, which you can't really see. Um, Skywalker, which is another gorgeous one. Beeping. We have Ray Rider. Looks like that. A little bit of peachy. Solar Sailor. Looks like that. Again, I love my Kaleidos, so keeping these. And then Diamond Dasher looks like this. Another it's pretty peachy. It's very pretty. Okay, so we have another one from Ofra, and this is a one that they did with Nikki Tutorials, and this is Everglow. This is in the super old packaging. So this one is old, so we're gonna get rid of this one. Um, I have a couple from the Sephora and Moschino collection. So we got a little pinky guy. We got the blue one. And these are gorgeous. And I really wish I could tell you that I use them a lot. But I don't. So we are... They're drying out too. I've had them quite a bit. So we're going to get rid of these two. I have a couple from Pretties for Your Face, and this is Babe with the Power, and it looks like this, and then this one is flashy, and let's see, oh, that's pretty. It's got kind of like a blue tint. You know, I don't use either of these ones, so I'm going to get rid of them. We have more from Becca. So we have Champagne Pop in the big version. And it looks like it has never been used. I must have gotten this when I heard Becca was going out of business. I'm going to de-stash this since I do have the travel size. I'll probably get more use out of that one. And then we have Pearl. Oh, it looks like that, which is super, super icy, very, very white. And I'm going to hold on to this one. Okay, we have one from Makeup Geek, and this is in Lit, and this is one of their duochrome highlighters. So it's got a little bit of a shift, 
think you're gonna be able to see that. It's a little more subtle, especially compared to this one, um, but I'm gonna keep it. I do like it, so we're gonna keep it. Okay, I have this little guy from Nomad. It's cute, it's Pinky Peach. This is in Kiss of Sun. And even though it's cute, like I've never used it, so we're gonna get rid of this one. I have a couple from Ritual the Fee, which I really do love this uh, brand. And this is Ice Bow. It's super shiny. And then, excuse all the fingerprints, we have Solaris, which is another gorgeous one. You can see the shift where I got the packaging all dirty. So we're gonna keep those. Um, let's see, Laura Mercier, we have the Rose Glow, it looks like this. This is gorgeous, this is another one that's pretty subtle, um, but I like that, you know, some days I just want a little bit of a more subtle look, so I do love this one, I'm keeping it. Um, I have the Dior, let's see, Pink Glow is this one, and this is another gorgeous one, so we're holding on to this one, I'm not getting rid of my Dior. Okay, we have this little guy from Bobbi Brown. This is in pink glow. Another great travel size. If I don't stick my thumb in it. <laughs> so, keeping. Uh, we have this guy from Catrice. This is, let's see, Supreme Rose Beam. And it just looks gorgeous. I don't know, I haven't used it very often. Let's see. Oh, can you see that? It's like, oh, of course I drop it. So it's gorgeous. It's this one right here, but I don't use it. Maybe I'll keep it so I can make a makeup look with um, some lower budget items. I think that's a good idea. Okay, we're gonna keep this one. Uh, we have one from Estate. Looks like this. Do me. We are going. <laughs> Jesus. Do me. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna just stash this one. I have a ton from Jouer. This is more Makeup Geek. Let's do the Makeup Geek one first. So this is Nightlight. And it's really gorgeous. Is it too dark? Um, it's definitely more goldy. It's a little dark, actually. We're going to do stash this one. Okay. <laughs> Let's go through my Jouer. Okay, this one is Molten Glow. Looks like that. And then we have Rose Quartz, uh, which is gorgeous. We have Topaz, just looks like this. And uh, then we have Celestial, it's pretty icy pink. And then we have Rose Gold. So it looks like that. Now I don't need all of these. And I don't really love this one. Oh, it's actually really pretty. Okay, everything is blending together, I know, I'm sorry. That's really gold, okay. Um, the packaging is pretty, but we're gonna get rid of this one. Um, let's see, Rose Quartz. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. Mm, yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna take off my Apple Watch. What about Topaz? This one looks like it could be a little bit dark. Um, yeah, we're gonna de-stash this one. Um, what about Rose Gold? It's a little bit lighter. Not very rose goldy. Oh, that's pretty gold. Uh, we're gonna hold on to that one, I think. No, it's a little too gold. I actually kind of like this one though. Okay, I'm gonna swap these. We're gonna hold on to Topaz. We're gonna get rid of Rose Gold. And this one obviously I'm keeping because it is gorgeous. And this is Celestial. Um, okay, we're doing blushes later. So I'm gonna put those to the side. Uh, okay, we have, let's see, Shadow Play from Mel, and this has a green shift, and it's broken. So I think it's just time for me to get rid of it. I really don't use it. It's gorgeous, but it's gotta go. 
We have one from Lethal Cosmetics, and this is Wavelength. Uh, no, this is Iconic, I think. And this is a good everyday one too. This is actually one you can build up and you can either go hardcore with it and just be a sparkly fairy or you can be a little more subtle, which I like. So we're gonna keep it. Let's see, we have a bunch from ColourPop. I know I have more somewhere. Um, we have Lunch Money, which is an OG one we're keeping. We have Guilty Pleasure. Let's see, it's so good, so good. Wow. Uh, it's gorgeous. Um, we're keeping it. <laughs> and then we have Monster, which has like a little bit of a pinky shift. So, it's Monster, which is gorgeous too. So, we're going to keep those ones. Okay, we have another one from Pretty Spray Your Face, and this is Lit. Oh, and it's a lot more icy. Ooh, it's like an icy silver. Yeah, we're keeping that one. Um, okay, we have this one from Natasha Denona, Diamond and Glow. Um, looks like this. We're definitely keeping this one. It's cute. And then we have a ton from Love Lux Beauty. I did warn you, I like this brand. So we have Pumpkin Coconut. And this one think about that one we have icing on the cake looks like that we have next level periwinkle which is gorgeous next we have cheeky oh that's a blush okay you're gonna see that one later uh make believe keeping uh rose taupe is gorgeous it's a little dark I will say but I'm not getting rid of it Woo, what's that mermaid water Wow again like these aren't ones that I necessarily okay that's very green <laughs> that I use a lot but I just love this brand so much so we're keeping them uh, and then we have oh my god which I think I can get rid of this one I just don't use this one so we're gonna get rid of that one Pumpkin coconut, I think it used to smell good. Let me smell it. it smells like makeup now. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just don't use it. Oh, bye, honey. Okay, now let me get more. Okay, so we're just gonna get into it. I wiped off my arms so we could uh, do some swatches. Um, but I have this one from Lime Crime. It's Sunkissed in the color Oasis. And yeah, it looks like a deodorant stick. <laughs> That's why I got it. I don't think the color is great. Actually, it's not bad. Have I just not really used this? Okay, well, I could kind of use this as a blush, too. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that. Okay. Um, oh, oh. oh, my God. From Fenty Beauty, we have, let's see, the Kilowatt Highlighters in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. And I just don't use this at all. It's pretty. I actually do really like Fenty's formula. Yeah, I just don't think it's like anything special or unique. It's these two right here. So we're gonna declutter this one. Um, I have three from Odin's Eye that I basically bought because they're pieces of art. Uh, so this is Spring of Life. Isn't that gorgeous? This one is Veil of Future. And this one is Web of Destiny. They're just like, they're all hand pressed. They're just gorgeous. I don't want to use them because I don't want to mess up the, the beautiful, like, you know, beauty. Beautiful beauty. Sure, let's go with that. Um, but I need to use them. But we are going to keep these. Okay, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, we have the Iced Out Highlighter. This one got so much hate. It's, uh... It's a weird one. It's not bad though. I don't hate it, so I'm going to keep it. ColourPop, we have Flute Punch. I do kind of want to swatch these because some of them I think are just too dark. Um, yeah, this one is just like a little bit too dark, so I'm probably not going to reach for it. Uh, we have Smoke and Whistles. Just 
like this. Ooh, their Super Shock highlighters are some of my favorite. We're keeping, it's gorgeous. Um, I think we have some more. Yeah, is this a blush? No, a Super Shock Cheek. This is from the Tinkerbell collection. This is Happy Thoughts. Oh my God, I swear, I'm not breaking stuff, guys. I'm just very clumsy. Um, That one is a little too dark. I thought they did such a great job in the Tinkerbell collection. I'm going to just stash this one just because it does not work for me. Next, we have Stole the Show. Let's see. Looks like that. It's more of an icy one. It's perfect. Love it. Um, let's see. I've got a ton of these big... Oh! <gasps> Oh, we've got a ton of these big ones. Okay, so let's just get through these. The packaging is terrible. It's so hard to open them. It's annoying to store them. Um, they're just very large and kind of bulky. And it's just, again, like if you can't open it, it's hard to want to use it. <laughs> so this is the real thing. Looks like this. I am going to try to swatch some of these. Eh, nothing special. We're going to get rid of that one. Um, this one is in Manifest That. Looks like this. See, they all look kind of similar, too. This one's a little lighter. Uh, we're gonna keep this one. Uh, Wild Orchid. This is from their Soul Body Collection. I don't even think I've used this one. Yeah, that's just purple. <laughs> it's gorgeous, but... I like I would use it on my eyes for sure, but I don't need any more purple on my eyes, so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of it. Being good. Um, okay, your trip is the next one. It looks like that. See, they all look a little bit similar. It's like I don't need all of them. Oh, that's pretty. It's a little more pinky. Okay, we're gonna keep this one. ColourPop and Barbie. This is Beach Party. Oh my god, okay, it looks like this. This much is like that. A little yellow, but Barbie was like one of my favorite collections that they came out with, so we're gonna we're gonna hold on to that one. Oh, these two. I don't want to get rid of these because they're like collectors. Okay, well I have Ursula, poor unfortunate unfortunate souls, and then I have Evil Queen, fairest of all, and I don't think they really work very well anymore. Maybe not. Okay. It's fun. Okay, let's look at Ferris of them all. It's super yellow. Um, you know what? <laughs> I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them. If you've been on this channel, you know that I do love Disney, so uh, it's hard to hard to let go of those. Okay, we have another one from Lethal. This is Isotope. This one, what's this one look like? goldy but it's not too gold i'm gonna keep it um this is a skin finish from mac this is the collaboration they did with tiana taylor look at that packaging that packaging is insane um so this is in house of petunia and i want to keep it just for the packaging but it just it doesn't do a lot for me it's a little too gold to work on my skin it's very light so <laughs> we're actually getting rid of mac i'm proud of me Okay, we have a loose highlighter from Gimme Glow in Glaze. And I don't think I've even opened this. Yeah, that's smart on my part because I don't like loose highlighters. They get everywhere. So we're going to de-stash those ones. Uh, we've got a couple loose highlighters from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Um, let's see. I have that one. And extra. And then I have Hypnotic, which I think is purple. I like the purple one. I do like purple tinged ones so we're gonna keep purple which is again hypnotic we are gonna de-stash extra a couple more from Jacqueline we have mesmerized this looks like this which is pretty and then we have awestruck which is more of a rose gold which 
I actually like it a little better because I can make it work as blush. So we're gonna keep this one. We're gonna keep Awestruck. We're gonna get rid of Mesmerize. Okay, so we have a couple from Storybook Cosmetics. This is the collaboration they did with uh, Hunger Games. And these are actually super, super gorgeous. They're dirty. I always think it's dirty in my little, my little thing. Okay, you can't even see that. It's listed on the other arm. Oof. Used to be a lot more blinding. Is it just not working right now? What's going on? Used to be so pretty. It's having a moment. Uh, we have Girl on Fire, which looks like that. They're both pretty. Um, I think Beacon of Hope is just a little bit light. It is very pinky, um, so it matches with my skin tone. I do like these a lot. The packaging is pretty good too, I'm not gonna lie. They did a good job with the packaging, so I'm gonna hold on to these. Okay, we have a couple more from MAC. We have, let's see, Beaming Blush, which I'm keeping. And then we have Soft Ross, which is gorgeous. So we're keeping both of these. Oh, we got another one from MAC. This is, let's see, Double Gleam. Is that what it's called? So this is what they did for Chinese New Year a couple years back, I believe. And I think I've never used it because it's so gorgeous. Oh, so we're keeping it. Okay, we got more from Becca. We have High Angel, which I think this is one of the last ones they came out with. They did this for like a charity or something, so it's really pretty. Keeping, do I have any more? No, we have, oh, Pat McGrath and Bridgerton. So this is from the first Bridgerton uh, launch that they did. It's gorgeous. Uh, we have Pat McGrath. This is Divine Rose. Wait, wait. Looks like that. Gorgeous. Uh, we have another color pop. This is Parasol. This is, I mean, I don't need to swatch it. This is too dark for me, so we're going to get rid of that one. We got a ton from Baby About Beauty. So Moonstone. Looks like this. A little too white for me. So we're going to de-stash this one. Uh, then we have Dragonfly. It's really pretty. I'm going to keep this one. We have Rose Quartz. It also looks very light. It's kind of chunky. Eh, we're going to get rid of this one. Uh, and then we have Moonlight, which is very chunky. Very chunky. Yeah, no, gonna get rid of that one. Shoot, let me swatch this one to make sure that it still works. Some of those seem a little bit dry. That one feels better. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Okay, yeah, we're gonna keep that one. Okay, we've got Electra. From Melt. This one's gorgeous. We're keeping. Gotta be careful with those guys. And then we have a ton more from Rachel Defee. I told you I love this brand. I think these are just so cool cream highlighters. Um, so we have Moon Pillar. Looks like that. We have the High Priestess, which looks like that. We have the siren, right? Yeah, wait, yeah. It's a little more yellow. Then we have the alchemist. It just looks like that. For the alchemist, you're supposed to, it's more like of a topper, so you're supposed to put it on like top of your highlighter. We have the chimera, which is their green one, which is super cool. And then we have the fawn, which is really pretty. It's got like pink sparkles in it. I think you can kind of see it there. Okay. Oh, we have, we have more Oprah. We have more Oprah. Okay, let's just get through these. Okay, so this is retrograde. 
which I just thought was so cool. I really do like purple highlighters. I don't use them all the time, but I use them enough, so we're gonna hold on to this. Then I have blush strips. I guess it's more of a blush. Okay, we're gonna put it in my blushes. You'll see it again. Then we have, let's see, it's Start Inspired. This is the collab they did with Samantha March. It's really pretty. Keeping. Then we have the X's and Glows highlighter, which is fun. I don't even think I've used that one. Uh, let's see, we have the collab they did with Madison Miller, Sea Shimmer, which is a pinky one, which is gorgeous. We've got Bali. I don't use this one. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Uh, let's see. We have the collab they did with Steph Toms, which is the milk and cookies one. Super pretty. Keeping. And then we have Peppermint, which looks like that, which is really pretty. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and count how many I'm keeping versus how many I'm de-stashing. So let's, let's look at what I'm de-stashing first. Oh my god, that's insane. That's 42 we're getting rid of. So let's go through and count how many we're keeping. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so we're keeping 86. So I actually ended up getting rid of more than I thought I was going to, which I am super grateful for. Like some of these just needed to go. They weren't getting used. We should go to a home that loves them. Um, and I think I did really good. And I do plan on doing another declutter series at the end of this year. So, you know, now that we've decided what I'm going to keep, and get more use out of, I'm going to see what I actually use throughout the rest of the year so that when the next declutter comes, I can get rid of the ones that I never touched because that's kind of silly to keep something that you're not using. So thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I know this is kind of a long one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below what your favorite highlighter out of my collection was. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!